Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a new inventory piece that just showed up on our lot yesterday. This is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24-foot stock combo set up with a really nice double tack on it. As we walk through, this double tack setup is probably one of the most popular setups we're going to, whether it be in a stock combo like this, a three-horse or a four-horse. It just has so much functionality off both sides of the trailers. Um, we'll start off walking through the front tack up here. We'll walk around and show you kind of some cool features on this new Cimarron. So on our passenger side here, we do have our extra large 42 inch door on your uh, passenger side here. You will have your uh, gas operated piston saddle rack. We do two saddle racks on each side because we figure if you are hauling horses, you can fit four in here. If you do want to put more saddle racks on there easily, you can add more on here or you can adjust these however you see fit. But again, it does run on a gas piston. So once you get your big heavy saddles on there, it's a lot easier. You know, you can one hand all your saddles. Usually you're holding the horse, something like that. So by doing, having the ability to do these one-handed with that gas piston while you're moving heavy saddles, it's really user-friendly. Then over here on your entry door is, again, a gas piston operated blanket bar. So again, super easy. You swing that out, you can slide your blankets directly on. You don't have to fight against that door to get your blankets on and off. Then while you're traveling, that piston will hold those blankets over against that door to keep them from moving and falling while you're traveling. Below that, we do have your drainable brush box or brush tray. It is a three compartment tray. So you have three separate compartments split in here. They are drainable in each compartment. I like that we do that on these brush trays. It's something super little that makes a huge difference just because if you do have a spray bottle, fly spray, anything like that, that freezes, breaks, starts leaking, it's gonna contain it to one of those three trays and let it drain out the bottom so not all the rest of your stuff gets gross. We do have your fold up step on any entry door on a Cimarron we order for inventory. We throw these fold up steps on there just because we feel it's such a nice upgrade and again, it's a gas piston operated. You can run it one hand. You don't have to fight with any latches. And again, it just kind of gives you about an eight inch lower step to get up in here, which can be really handy if you're hauling some totes, grain feeds, stuff like that. Up here in this front tack, again, double entry. You can see that other door over here behind me, but it is a roomy front tack. It's a five and a half foot short wall front tack, which puts you just about 10 foot on your long wall. So you're gonna have plenty of tack space up in this trailer. Fully carpeted gooseneck deck, drop wall, and then a boot box that we like to put in here. For one, it gives you a step up into your gooseneck. If you're storing stuff up there, maybe sleeping in there for a weekend or something like that, you have a nice step. And then again, it gives you storage inside that step as well. So again, keeping your stuff organized out of the way, not rolling around this trailer. So that way you're not tripping on it when you're going to saddle horses, offload, load, whatever you're doing in this trailer. It is a rubber matted floor. So again, super easy to keep clean. You can pull these mats, wash them, power wash them, do whatever you need to do. They are fully removable, so the rubber mats are the real go-to in these trailers. Behind our saddle rack, kind of tucked away in this dead space corner, we do put a 25-gallon corner water tank. Again, super important to be able to have water with you while you're traveling. If you can't find water where you're going, or if your horses only drink your home water, I know my horses are kind of stingy that way, um, you'll always have this water with you and not have to worry about if you run out of water where you're going to find it. For our bridle hooks in this trailer, we have two rows, a high and a low of bridle hooks situated on this partition wall. It is a fully carpeted partition wall. It's really nice to do that just because, again, it's gonna really deaden that noise for your horses. And on top of that, it's gonna keep this trailer looking nice. Your bridles aren't gonna be scratching up the trailer and then vice versa, your trailer's not gonna be scratching up your bridles. So it's gonna keep your stuff looking nice and neat, whether it be your trailer or your tack. And again, it's really gonna help deaden that noise of those bridles rubbing on that wall while you're traveling for your horses. As we walk out behind the camera over here, we do have a lip shelf, again, giving you a place to organize stuff. It does have a two inch lip here on the front, rubber matted up top. Again, giving you a place to tuck some stuff away, store some stuff that you don't want falling, you don't want rolling around this trailer, just up and out of the way. And below that, we throw on a little clothes rod. Again, if you're gonna be hanging some clothes, some show clothes, stuff like that, it gives you a nice place to hang that. It's not just getting tossed on the floor, hanging in your truck. It's nice and situated in this trailer. To move down this trailer, you'll probably be able to see it better on the other side, but it's a charcoal metallic color. Something I want to point out is you'll notice the clean lines on this trailer. As we move down it, you'll notice there are no rivets besides that polished nose sheet on the front. Cimarron does not use uh, rivets. They use a 3M uh, VHM tape, and what that tape does is it just bonds that right to the trailer. Um, the cool thing about that tape is by not having rivet rivets, you don't have metal on metal contact. Your, that sheet metal is hitting the 3M, that 3M is hitting the trailer, and they have done studies and that 3M is quieter than a riveted trailer just because there is no metal on metal contact. So again, it is keeping it more comfortable 
more quiet for your horses. It does cost them a little more to do that, but it's the little things. We're building better quality trailers when we do them with Cimarron. Up high, we do have a 16 inch awning load light situated above your tie rings on this uh, passenger side. Again, giving you guys plenty of light out here to be able to see what you're doing while you're saddling. If you're feeding, tying off your trailer, you're gonna have plenty of light to be able to see what you guys are doing. It is a plexiglass inserted trailer. And it's really cool. Cimarron has these notches cut out so you typically, if you're taking plexiglass out, you have to get a screwdriver or a drill, remove a piece of metal and slide all your plexiglass out. With Cimarron, you don't have to do that. You can just pop it out this little cutout right here and you can start sliding your plexiglass whichever way you want. So it's really simple. You don't need any extra tools to do so. And it gives it a really clean finish on this trailer. Below that, we do have your three tie rings. So again, kind of giving you the option to tie you whether these tie rings on each side of the trailer. But then again, if you do run that plexiglass out, you also have the option to tie to your upright supposed uh, through the length of this trailer. You're gonna have plenty of tie points, especially if you're not running plexiglass. Down low, this is a 610 wide trailer. So you get that full length running board with this uh, Lone Star fabricated uh, fender flares right here. So it's a little bit stouter than our North Star models, just because again, sometimes you're gonna be hauling cattle. These are gonna take a little more abuse than a horse trailer type. So this is a, a different setup than you will see on our horse trailer models super stout and it gives this trailer a really clean look. Below that we do have our black accented aluminum wheels. Again, you will get a spare tire. I'll show you guys mounted up front that will match these tires and wheels. These are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. And then on top of that, we do get all our tires from the factory are now coming nitrogen filled. So that way you're not gonna have to worry about your PSI fluctuations with temperature changes. It's really gonna add to the life of these tires. You're not gonna have to worry about blowouts as much. You're not gonna have to worry about showing up where you're going with the flat tire. Moving around to the load side of this, it is just a single rear gate, plexiglass inserts on the back, and again, easily removable plexiglass. Inside this trailer, again, it is a rubber matted floor. It's gonna be the same rubber mats that we run in that uh, front tack room. Underneath that, it is Cimarron's four inch centered, groove welded aluminum floor. This is the strongest floor you can get on, in the horse trailer market today. Every four inches, there is a plank smatter. No matter where your horse, cattle, whatever you're putting in this trailer stand, and they will be standing directly over support beam. Most trailers are 12 inch centers, 10 inch centers, even some are 16 inch centers. So by doing four inch centers, this is the strongest floor. And the way their tongue and groove works on the bottom of this trailer, everything snaps together and there's a machine welded upside down in the factory. That way you guys don't see any welds in this trailer. It's all underneath the trailer, hidden away, looking nice. Inside this load area, again, any trailer you order from Cimarron is gonna come standard with an insulated roof running the whole way, even through the tack room. So it's gonna keep your animals a lot cooler in the summer and a lot warmer in the winter, especially if you are running this plexiglass, keeping them nice in here. You do have your rubber kick mat ran about four foot up all the way around this trailer again. It's gonna keep this quieter for your horses. It's gonna help if you have a horse pawn or kicking, it's gonna go with that mat. It's not gonna go right to the metal on this trailer. So it's gonna really keep this trailer looking nice, especially if you have some horses that are rough on trailers. Something we did unique to this trailer, usually when we order stock combos, we only put a center cut gate in it just cause you're either gonna split some horses or split some horses and cattle. But we found is we like to do this stud divider, a typical horse width about three and a half feet up here in your front stall so that way you can haul one horse up front, divide it off, put a second horse in your second stall, run your cattle in the back. It just gives you a little more versatility as far as what you can do with this trailer. You have some tight points to keep your horses nice and situated while you're traveling. And then again, you also have that center cut if you are gonna run cattle in here. So it gives you guys some options. You will have an escape door situated in this front stall. Again, not only does this stud divider in this front stall give you the option to sneak a horse up here and then a horse in between this and that center and give them a nice secure position to ride, but it also allows you to, if you're hauling hay, grain, totes, anything like that, you can kick this escape door open, use this as kind of a storage area in this trailer. So again, we like to add to the versatility of these trailers with that escape door and that stud stall, you can easily fit hay in here, totes, grain, whatever, and keep it out of the way. You don't have to come through the back of the trailer, you can come right through this escape door. As we move down our passenger side, you will have LED lighting positioned on your hip wall up high. These are standard Cimarron lights now. Before they used to have an option between these and a little smaller LED, but everything coming from Cimarron is standard with these LED lights now, and they're super cool lights, and they're gonna give you guys plenty of light in this trailer to not only check on your horses, but maybe give your horses some light. If you're feeding in here, if you're hauling cattle, you can check on them through that plexiglass and have enough light to see 
what you're doing. Cool thing Cimarron does, you'll notice, is pretty much anywhere there is contact in this trailer, it's not going to be a metal on metal contact. So down low, the support for this gate, it's got a plastic bumper situated there on top. So if this gate does latch to it, it is riding on that plastic, which again is going to deaden that noise quite a bit. And then your pin that latches up top, that is again in a plastic slam latch. So again, it's really simple to use. It just finds itself over there. You don't have to pull latches or anything. You can just swing it over there and it'll slam itself. But again, that is a plastic latch up there. Super strong plastic they use. But again, any metal on metal contact can be super loud for your horses. By doing metal on plastic like that, it's really going to deaden that noise for your horses and they're going to ride a lot more comfortable and a lot better for you guys. Same thing, same concept with their slam latches on their hip side when you're running these dividers closed. Again, metal on a plastic latch. So again, it's really going to deaden that noise for your horses. And on top of that, metal on plastic doesn't wear out as fast as metal on metal does. So metal on metal will grind and wear down over time where metal on plastic is going to last a long time for you guys. And it's also going to make your horses like riding in this trailer. It's surprising the horses, cattle, whatever we do, will jump in a trailer and go 75 miles an hour down the highway and then want to do it again. So we try to do everything possible to keep you and your horses as comfortable as they possibly can while you're traveling with them. Up high, we do have a six inch awning load light that'll mirror those 16 inches on the side. Again, just giving you enough light while you're loading cattle, loading horses, offloading, to keep you and your animals safe so you have enough light to be able to see what you're doing and your animals as well. Coming down the head side, it's gonna look really similar to that tail side with the exception of this escape door. Big 16 inch awning low light up high, giving you guys enough light if you are tying on this side of the trailer. Your plexiglass inserts run on the full length, including in your escape door. You have your tire rings situated the same. And then I will actually pop this escape door open and give you guys a view of how easy it would be to store some hay in here. So again, super easy if you're hauling hay, grain, totes, you can access it all from this escape door. Keep your animals loaded and separated. You're not having to worry about offloading to get to that stud stall. And then here is our other side of that double entry front tack. Again, mirror image of that double entry, just everything's flipped. Again, your two tier saddle rack that's gonna run off that gas piston. Easily adjustable, easily to add more. And then again, super easy to store out of the way once you kind of start pushing to that piston to pull all your saddles in for you. It's so got that same piston operated uh, saddle rack and then that same brush tray down low. And then as well as that same piston operated fold up step. So it's a super cool concept we do. Allows you to saddle off each side of the trailer. Maybe if you're hauling a couple horses that fight, you're not having to walk around the trailer with your tack. You can easily access your tack right here or just walk through the trailer to get to the other side. Up front, this gives you a really good look at that uh, charcoal metallic color on this trailer. Um, it'll run all the way back to where your stock compartments are. And then once you hit that stock compartment, you're going to get that mill extrusion with plexiglass. Underneath up front here, kind of the hardware we have. We do have your standard single, pe single speed manual jack right here. Here is your matching black accented aluminum wheel and tires. So that way if you do get a flat, get a blowout, you do have a matching wheel. You're not just throwing a steel donut on this nice looking trailer if you're going to a show, rodeo, whatever it may be. I'm gonna finish it off up here front. We do have your two and five sixteenths BMW coupler, your safety chains, and your breakaway cable. So again, Cimarron really thinks about the small things on this trailer. For example, that VHM we talked about, I don't think we talk about that enough. So these are gonna be the only rivets you see right here on the whole trailer. Everywhere else is VHM bonded, which is really gonna make this trailer smooth and quiet riding for your horses. But if you are interested in this trailer, the stock number for this unit is 5N221774. Again, it's a 23 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. It's a 24 foot combo, 610 wide, 71 tall. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe just wanna call and talk about some of Cimarron's features, maybe see if we have a different trailer that might fit your needs a little better, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.